Hello everybody and welcome. In today's video we're going to be solving linear equations and we will be doing these five examples here on the screen. So without further ado, let's begin. Example number one, we want to solve 3x minus 6. So whenever we are solving linear equations, we want to isolate the x. We want to get that by itself and move everything else to the other side of the equal sign. So for here, what we see is that it's 3x minus 6. So we want to move that 6 over. And the way we are going to do that is by adding 6 to both sides, like so. And when we do that, we will have 3x is equal to 6. And then to get x by itself, we see that it's 3 times x. So what we have to do is the opposite, which is division. So we want to divide by 3 to both sides. And when we do that, what we are going to get is x is equal to 2. And one last step that you can do is you can check your answer by plugging this x equals 2 in to the original equation. So let's go ahead and do that just to confirm that we have the right answer. So we'll have 3 times 2 here, which is the x that we found, minus 6 is equal to 0. So 3 times 2 is 6. And then minus 6 is equal to 0, 0 is equal to 0. Therefore, we know that we got the right answer. Example number 2, we want to solve this equation here. And we're looking at it, we see that there's an x on the left side of the equation and an x on the right side, as well as numbers on both left and right side of the equation. So what we want to do is get all the x's to one side and everything else to the other side. And the way we are going to do that is first by subtracting 3x to both sides. And when we do that, we'll get 5x minus 3x is 2x plus 4 is equal to negative 8. And now we want to move the 4 over to the right-hand side. And we do that by doing the opposite. Usually that's going to be the case, is you always do the opposite of whatever's in front. So then you're going to get 2x is equal to negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. And the last step here is we want to get the x by itself. And it is 2 times x. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we are going to go ahead and divide 2 to both sides. And when we do that, what we are going to get is x is equal to negative 6. And that is going to be our final answer. Example number 3, we want to solve this equation here. And when we are looking at this, we see that there are some parentheses. So first, let's go ahead and simplify a bit. And we are going to multiply whatever is on the outside of the parentheses to what is on the inside here. And when we do that, we are going to get 6x minus 6 plus 4 is equal to 21x plus 3. Okay. And on the left-hand side, we can simplify that a bit further. So we are going to go ahead and do that. We got 6x minus 2 is equal to 21x plus 3. And same concept as the last problem. What we want to do is get the x's to one side and then all the other numbers to the right-hand side. And you can go about it either way. You can either bring this 21x to the left or the 6x to the right. But I'm going to go ahead and keep it consistent and take the 21x over to the left-hand side. So from here, what we are going to do is subtract 21x from both sides. Just like that. And what we end up getting here is a negative 15x minus 2 is equal to 3. And now, continuing, we want to get the 2 over to the right-hand side. So I am going to go ahead and add 2 to both sides. And now what we get is negative 15x is equal to 5. So the way we get rid of that negative 15, since it's being multiplied to the x, is we have to divide by negative 15. So let's do that here. 
divide both sides, negative 15. And what we end up getting is x is equal to negative 5 over 15. Now, in this example, we can take this further by simplifying. So when we do that, we will get x is equal to negative 1 third. And that is our final answer. Example number four, we want to solve this equation here. And when we're looking at this one, what's unique about it is the fractions there. So the way we want to go about this is to try to get rid of those to make it easier. And the way we do that is we want to find the lowest common denominator or the LCD. Let me change that here. LCD between three and four. So let's go ahead and write those down here on the left side. And the way you do this is you just pretty much keep going in multiples of three or four in this case until you see one that's in common. So three, six, nine, 12, and four is eight, 12, and 16. And what we see here is that 12 is the first number that they both have in common. And one way you can do this is you can actually just multiply the two numbers together and you'll get your LCD. But sometimes the LCD is actually it comes before that. Um, but either way, this LCD method is going to work every time. And what you do from here is that we know that 12 is the lowest common denominator. So we are going to multiply the entire equation by 12. And remember, you have to do it to every single uh, variable or number inside the equation here. So 12 times x over 3 is 12x over 3. And then 12 times 3x is 36x over 4. And that is equal to 24. And now what we can do is simplify those fractions. So 12, uh, 3 goes into 12 4 times. So we have 4x. And then 4 goes into 36 9 times. So we have 9x is equal to 24. And now we want to combine like terms on the left-hand side. So we have 13x is equal to 24. And therefore, when we divide both sides by 13, we get x is equal to 24 over 13. And that is our final answer. Example number five, we want to solve this equation here. And this is pretty much a combination of all of the other equations uh, that we have solved so far. So first step here is we want to simplify a bit by bringing in this one fourth into both of the uh, items inside the parentheses. So when we do that, we are going to get 3x over 2 plus one fourth x minus two over four is equal to 10. And now we wanna find the LCD between two and four so we can get rid of all the fractions here. So like I said, we will do the LCD here. So two and then all the factors or all the multiples. So two and then four and then six. And then let's go ahead and do it for four. So four, we already have that in common between both of those. And what that means is that we are going to multiply the entire equation here by four. So and let's go ahead and do that. Four times three X over two is going to give us 12 X over two plus four over four X minus eight over 4 is equal to 40. Okay, now let's simplify this a bit. 12x over 2 is going to be 6x plus 4 over 4 is 1. So we just have our x there minus 2 is equal to 40. Okay, now let's combine like terms. So we have 7x minus 2 is equal to 40. And we have to bring that 2 over. So what we do is add 2 to both sides. And when we do that, I'm going to bring this actually up here. If 
for the next step. So we have 7x is equal to 42. And we want to get rid of that 7 in front of the x. So what we have to do is the opposite. And that is divide like that. And then what you'll get is x is equal to 6. And that is our final answer.